Last year, ISRO added many feathers in its cap. India's space agency that is widely regarded as making difficult missions a cakewalk and that too in a shoestring budget put its stamp on several achievements including maiden flight of the SSLV and the first commercial launch of LVM3, ISRO's heaviest rocket among others. This year too, ISRO has several high-profile space missions lined up. This is going to be a year of bigger, bolder and braver missions to space from India. In this video, we bring to you a few of the most crucial missions that ISRO will try to accomplish in the coming months. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. The first significant mission would be the launch of Chandrayaan-3. With NASA successfully conducting the maiden launch of the Artemis 1 mission, India is now ready to send the successor of its most successful probe to the lunar orbit. Chandrayaan-3 is set to be launched on LVM-3 in June this year. GSLV MK-3 was rechristened as LVM-3 last year. The renaming was done to remove any ambiguity on the ability of the vehicle to put payloads in a particular orbit. Although the mission has been a little delayed as ISRO continues to test the rover, which is expected to be more robust than the last two missions. While the mission is not a replica of Chandrayaan-2, which crash landed on the moon, it will still use its predecessor's orbiter, which is already hovering above the lunar surface. The mission's propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration to an orbit that is about 100 kilometers above the moon's surface. The module will also carry a shaped payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. SHAPE stands for Spectropolarimetry of Habitable Planet Earth. The next important one in line is the Aditya L1 mission. This would be the first observatory class space-based solar mission from India. The Aditya L1 mission will be placed in the Lagrange point 1, that is L1. The L1 point of the Earth's sun system provides an uninterrupted view of the sun and is currently home to the solar and heliospheric observatory satellite, that is SOHO of NASA. This position provides a greater advantage of observing solar activities continuously. Aditya L1 will carry seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outermost layers of the sun, that is the corona, using electromagnetic and particle detectors. Four payloads will directly view the sun from the unique vantage point of L1 and the remaining three payloads will carry out in situ studies of particles and fields at the Lagrange point L1. Third vital mission would be the launch of India's reusable launch vehicle. As the name itself states, this class of launch vehicles would be used again and again rather than just for a single mission. Along the lines of the US shuttle missions, India is working to develop its first runway landing experiment. According to ISRO, the configuration of RLV TD is similar to that of an aircraft and combines the complexity of both launch vehicles and aircraft. The winged RLV TD has been configured to act as a flying test bed to evaluate various technologies such as hypersonic flight, autonomous landing and powered cruise flight. In the future, this vehicle will be scaled up to become the first stage of India's reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle. 2023 is said to be the year of many momentous achievements for ISRO and India's space missions. If everything goes well as per the plan, ISRO will have quite a few important and successful space exploration missions to its credit. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.